Hey guys, it's Narissa. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. I have a grocery haul for you today. I go grocery shopping once every two weeks. This grocery haul is going to focus on low carb options. I am pregnant. For those of you who don't know, I posted an update video recently. I'll link down below. Pregnant with my second baby and um, the likelihood of me having gestational diabetes is extremely high. So I need to start focusing on low carb. I also want to try and do some budgeting this week, so or these next couple of weeks. So I went through the freezer to see what we had as far as like frozen veggies and protein. I'm going to use that in my meal plan. I also did check out Ibotta before I made my Walmart order, so I hope to have some really good discounts. If you're not familiar with Ibotta, it's a cash back app that gives you some pretty good discounts on foods, and they often change, so you go on their app, you add a bunch of stuff to your cart, then you can link it to your Walmart account, and that's what I did. And then um, you automatically, they do all the work for you. You don't have to upload any receipts or anything like that. So it's super simple. It's free money. You might as well do it. It's super simple. I'll leave the information down below. I will let you know how much money I save and I will show you what I got when I get home. All right, so I made it back from my shopping trip and I went to Walmart and all these. I did grocery pickup at Walmart and then I also went into Walmart and I did <laughs> my cat. And then I also went into Aldi's. So I got some really great low carb, keto friendly finds at Aldi's. I was really happy to see that. Um, not so much at, at Walmart, but let's start with Walmart and then I'll show you all the great low carb options from Aldi's. All right, so a lot of this is for my husband and for my son. So when you see these um, not so low carb items, that's what they're for. Um, I grabbed some frozen spinach. I really like that you can get this in a bag now that's not like compressed into a block so that you, you know, you don't have to use all of it at once if you don't want to. I got this to make some dinosaur pancakes for my son. Um, you know, sneak those veggies in while you can. And then I grabbed myself some of this silk almond creamer, uh, the caramel flavor. This is what I've been drinking since before. Um, during my first pregnancy because it's lower carb and then um, also sugar-free coffee creamer as well but I really like this almond milk creamer and then this is for my husband he likes his uh, funny flavors of coffee creamer so fruity pebbles is what I got him and then I got myself this I have been craving and enjoying a glass of orange juice every morning I will probably have to end up stopping this here in a couple weeks because it does have a lot of sugar and um, with gestational diabetes that's this is not something that I'm gonna be able to drink for very much longer um, for drinks I got some bottles of diet root beer this is a caffeine free drink that I like to have uh, for supper and then I was craving some different uh, pop and this was an I bought a rebate so it's Pepsi zero sugar I think it was free um, after the Ibotta rebate. And then these were actually on the Ibotta rebate app too. These Campbell's slow kettle style like little individual serving soups. This one is French onion and then I got a, what was this one, broccoli cheddar. Um, so these we'll keep in the pantry for like a quick lunch or snack even because they look uh, pretty small but these were also on Ibotta and then cheese I actually eat a lot of cheese because I'm supposed to eat you know two or three times more calcium than normal so I got a big bag of shredded mozzarella a big bag of mild cheddar we just keep this in the fridge and use it for you know all kinds of things I grabbed one package of sliced mozzarella and then a block of Colby Monterey and a block of Gouda so really I use this for just snacking um, you know, this and a uh, turkey stick is a really good low carb snack with a few almonds, stuff like that is good for someone who is trying to eat low carb. Um, this was actually on, I bought a rebate too. You had to buy four, I believe. Um, but these are pretty expensive, but that knocked the price down pretty far with Ibotta and Lake really likes these. So I grabbed him four of those. This is a water additive that my husband likes. He loves this orange blast. He thinks it tastes like tang and he just really likes that flavor, I guess. So uh, we always stock up on that. 
And then some chickpeas. I actually got this for a little project to do with my son. Apparently, if you whip up the juice that comes in these chickpea cans, it forms this like really light and airy, moussey like fluff that is edible and your kids can play with. I've really been looking up a lot of things to do while in quarantine and also when we were in like a frigid couple week polar blast there for a while. But I also have the ingredients to make my own hummus so I might go ahead and try that too. And then my husband wanted some chicken broth and also some cream of chicken. I'm not sure, I think he has um, a soup recipe in mind that he wants to make. So whole wheat crackers, this, these were also on an I bought a rebate and I get these from Aldi's a lot. They're really cheap and they're really good, but they were on I bought a rebate and basically anywhere I can cut out carbs and choose whole wheat over white, I'm trying to do that now. Not just because of gestational diabetes, but just in general. Whole wheat is definitely a better option than um, white. So I grabbed a one pound package of uh, garlic chicken lunch meat. It smells really good. This we like to have on sandwiches um, throughout the week or make wraps. You can also chunk it up and put it on a salad. And then I just grabbed some soft taco shells. Uh, these are the um, medium sized shells. A lot of times I will make my son a quesadilla instead of, you know, like a sandwich or a burger or something like that that we um, are having. So I'll use the same ingredients but make it into a quesadilla and he really likes that. So then I grabbed six Roma tomatoes. We use Roma tomatoes in the winter because where we're from, the tomatoes just aren't great. But um, the Roma tomatoes usually have some like semblance of a tomato flavor. And then grabbed a big bag of avocados. We eat avocados a lot as like a side or a snack. Just slice them up, drizzle them with some avocado oil, salt and pepper, and they are really, really good. It's a really good healthy fat option. Then I grabbed six mangoes. I love mangoes and my son actually loves mangoes too. So I give him fresh fruit whenever I can. But then I grabbed a bunch of bananas and also a big bag of oranges. And then the last fruit option for this next couple weeks is a big bag of these um, oh teardrop grapes. They're black seedless grapes in the shape of a teardrop and I just love these. They're really good. All right and then I grabbed some coated paper plates as well as some of these Lifesaver mints. I like to have one of these after supper sometimes. It's 25 calories. It's kind of like you know dessert I guess sometimes. Um, then I also have chicken Caesar salad on the meal plan and I like to put some of these um, little bow tie pasta pieces in the chicken Caesar salad. It makes it a meal basically. So if you're going low carb, just put a few in there. And then we're out of ranch so I grabbed the two bottles, one for work and one for here. These harvest snaps were something that I thought of might be a good snack a good alternative to less healthier options um, for my son for a snack. And I actually really like these two. They're green pea snap crisps. They're baked, not fried. They have less sodium than potato chips. So I got two of those. And then also I got this tomato basil flavor. I thought that sounded good. So those will be for snacks and like a uh, side for lunch for my son. And then he also likes these rice crisps and these are easier for him to eat. So cheddar Quaker oats rice crisps. Crisps, these are really good. They also have a ranch flavor and then also some sweet flavors that are excellent. And then I also grabbed some Alfredo just to put on the shelf. This is for, um, you know, pasta nights or we just made last week a big batch of like pasta primavera and use very little noodles and lots of different veggies and some chicken and it was really good. All right, so that is all I got from Walmart besides baby diapers, baby wipes, and also some um, Diet Mountain Dew and some 
water. So let me clear this off and show you all of the awesome low carb keto friendly things I found at Aldi's. All right, so this is my Aldi haul. I did get three gallons of whole milk for baby boy and then also a salad that I ate while I was shopping. Starting with the bread, I went ahead and got this 12 grain bread. We really like this. This is for Lake and my husband. And this, I found this keto friendly bread. It has protein in it as well. Like it says, it's vegan, five grams of protein and zero guilt. And it only has nine grams of carbs per one slice, which is much less when you compare it to this bread, 19 grams of carbs for one slice. So uh, that is interesting. I'm anxious to try the keto friendly bread. And then I grabbed some multi-grain sandwich skinnies. Sometimes I get the whole wheat, sometimes I get the multi-grain. Then I found these wraps, so I'm planning on using these when we have anything that uses wraps. And also maybe use these for some wraps for lunch, but they're keto friendly. This says original, so they must have other flavors, but um, they're high in fiber. They're 60 calories a piece, and they only have nine grams of carbs as well. So I tend to try and stick to like single digits of carbs and I tend to do okay with that. Um, <laughs> this was kind of an impulse buy, but I've seen this several times, and it was by the checkout this time, but I always need more chapsticks, so I grabbed this package of three. And then I grabbed Lakeland a few of these. He actually just grabbed one and wanted to eat it, but um, just mixed little squeezable pouches. And then I also grabbed him some of these. He likes these every once in a while, but I keep them in the pantry and they're easy to grab and go. They're uh, fruit flavored snacks, but there are no artificial flavors or synthetic colors. So I feel better about that than some of the other options. And they're the Simply Nature brand. And then these are my favorite protein bars and my husband's starting to like them too. They are um, the Millville brand. And this one is peanut butter dark chocolate and then I got the strawberry as well. They also have a mixed berry and a couple different um, peanut butter flavored ones, but we really like these. They are um, how many grams of protein? 10 grams of protein. So I'll eat these as a snack because oftentimes when you eat protein with your carbs, it helps, you know, not spike your blood sugar. This is definitely not a, a low carb item but we have birthdays coming up again and I needed some of these for a birthday cake recipe. And then these are a low carb snack. You can also add these to your salads, these Parmesan crisps. They have a really strong flavor so that's good. These are a nice alternative especially when you're wanting something like really crunchy. And then these aren't necessarily low carb. I didn't get these for a low carb snack, but they are really clean. They're only seven ingredients. They have several different flavors. I've had these before. There's, these are the coconut cashew crisps. And so they're really, really clean. So when you want a cookie, you can just grab a couple of these instead of some chocolate chip cookies. And they're much, much better for you. Then I grabbed some of these for my son, these freeze dried strawberries. They also had mango. I wanted to see if he liked these. Um, so we'll see these are going to be a great snack option if he does like them And then I found this pizza this keto friendly roasted veggie deli pizza It says bakes fresh in 9 to 12 minutes Keto friendly crust topped with a blend of roasted and grilled vegetables mozz cheese and tomato sauce And it's take and bake with 100% real cheese 18 grams of protein per serving, 8 grams of carbs per serving. So let's see what the serving size is. Thir serving size is one third of a pizza, so that's a good two slices, so that's perfect. We're going to have this tonight with a salad. All right, then I also grabbed some of these mandarin oranges and then also peaches in 100% fruit juice. This is for when I can't find any fruit that is ripe enough for my son to eat as um, a side dish or a snack, so I grabbed those. These pink lady apples were on a quite a significant sale, so those were the apples I chose to get this week. Then my husband likes this blue agave 
as you know like a replacement for honey or um, maple syrup so I saw this and grabbed that for him we were all out of breadcrumbs so I went ahead and grabbed the Italian style they didn't have any wait this is actually from Walmart I didn't think to grab the whole wheat breadcrumbs so whoops that's from Walmart all right, and then I wanted to make some chicken Caesar salad over the next couple of weeks as a meal, so I grabbed some Caesar dressing. And then our chickens aren't laying that many eggs right now because they're still in their winter mode, so I grabbed three dozen eggs. We do eat a lot of eggs. I grabbed some green onions and then also some romaine lettuce hearts. Cilantro, I don't have a plan for this yet, but it sounded really good, so went ahead and got that got some grape tomatoes and then also some strawberries for us to have as a side dish over the next couple weeks as well all right guys so that is it for this grocery haul my grand total from the ibotta rebate app was ding 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 seven dollars and 53 cents i'm really happy about that that is going to add up quickly when i go grocery shopping every couple of weeks Definitely check out the information down below. If you have not already signed up for Ibotta, you can join my team. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks